Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, good to see you. How you been? I've been good. Are you talking to me? No, are you no, talking I'm to talking our to viewer? you. Talking to all the people out there. Our viewers, our wonderful viewers. Yeah. Thank, thank God we have viewers, Art. Or it'd just be you and me talking to each other. We've done that for years. Right. Our subscribers are actually bouncing up there, so we thank you all for that. Does that mean we have a big crowd out there watching? Well, I don't know. Well, yes. More that, than the I, usual, I, too? Take a look behind me. There's probably 30 people. Right there, <laughs> back on the at, beach. Look at the back of my head right now. <laughs> uh, well, thank God for our viewers because we're here for them. We're really here for people over the age of 50. We want to help them enjoy life the way we're enjoying life. Yeah, and we I know really you're are, but life. there are things that we need to do, I think, uh, to enjoy life even better. Like I should be out there walking around, maybe uh, trotting around and getting a little exercise uh, down by the ocean uh, yep. with a hat on because of my you know, skin. I got to watch out for all the years I abused uh, Walking in the sand. Walking in the sand and the sun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I really need to get out there walking again. Uh, but you, you have, uh, you've got that uh, a track in your office. I can see that you're on all the time. <laughs> My track. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got. Uh, we've got. We live on a hillside, so I go up and down the hill. <laughs> it's not a lot of exercise. I've got some therapists that I go to each week. Um, but I could use more exercise. There's now, when no you question. go to the therapist, do you do a lot of climbing the walls, or uh, you're talking about other? Oh kind of no, things? they they stretch my muscles out. They make me cry in pain. Really? I, I love it. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But 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 we all need more exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, the older you get, the easier it is to become sedentary. I mean, let's face it. You know, you're busy, uh, whether it's work or play. There's oftentimes. I think of uh, going to watch the grandkids who are sitting in the grandstands mm -hmm. as they play baseball or soccer. You know, we're not out there playing soccer with them, uh, and we probably should be. So. Yeah, and that would be the end of our relationship with our grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, though, um, it's kind of interesting. As you know, I used to go to the gym probably five or six days a week, uh, yes. early in the morning, uh, 5.36 in the morning. I remember, yeah. I have all my regular gym rat buddies. Well, I keep in touch with, but I haven't seen for a year. And I actually uh, belong to a 24-hour fitness uh, locally. And also because I, I'm a Silver Sneakers member, uh, I also belong to a Y that's right around the corner. And I understand that the Y has reopened up actually months ago. Oh, uh, good. Because they kept the pool open and they kept bikes outside under a, a tarp of some kind. And... Huh? Uh, now that I'm double vaccinated for a month and have seen the grandkids again, I'm actually thinking about going back and riding the bike because even though Tai Chi is great exercise and I, I, I attend class about seven days a week online, uh, it's still not the same as mixing it up with uh, a more strenuous exercise. It's a very light, easy on the joints exercise, Tai Chi, yeah. and I get a lot of cardiovascular but I'm not right. burning calories like I would burn uh, uh, right. on a bike. What about you? I, I can't. I can't believe that um, Tai Chi is cardiovascular. It, what do they call that? Uh, yeah, cardio yeah. Uh, has a cardio effect because it just seems so slow. Every single move that you make in Tai Chi. Yeah. Okay. In, if you're doing it right, I would say 98% of them are the start the feet and you use your legs, and you use your waist, and you use your arms. And so in every one of them, it's a, and there are spiraling effects. And um, uh, generally speaking, we do uh, warm-ups for a, a, a really, it looks really slow, but you're, you're pressing a ball into water or lifting something up gently. So right. it's almost isometric to that extent, okay? And it's stretching. Uh, you can't see all the stuff I'm doing, but you get, you know you've seen it. Other people have seen it. Uh, okay, so I why you're moving? You're moving. I'm moving for two hours, an hour and a half, 
every time I go to a class. Well, that's good. It's got to be great for the joints anyway. Yep. So why haven't you lost weight? Because I, um, I have convinced myself that eating is something I don't want to give up. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to go watch uh, Steve Campbell, The Brain Whisperer, and he's got a whole thing about how I change my attitude to myself, because it's all up to me. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, how do I eat like a thinner person? Yeah. I, well, actually, you... I've lost a little bit of weight. Have you? I, I lost yeah, not much, but a little bit. And I'm, I need to find ways, including Steve Campbell's ways, to continue that trend. Because it's um, it was semi-conscious, let me put it that way. I was deliberately eating better, and so you know, I think for me, it's it's not about the exercise. I've got enough exercise; I can do more, but it's about uh, uh, eating better, about nutrition. It well, may be eating less and eating better. Well, we actually have uh, uh, somebody we've been working with, we, we've done an interview with her, who actually has oh, yes. more aerobic, really more strenuous exercises, uh, but not you know crazy strenuous, but strenuous. And she does address towards seniors. So uh, I wonder when are we going to get uh, uh, more of uh, Donald Lynn? We, we, it's in the pipeline. Is it? Uh, we have to edit it. And I think it'll, mm. we'll put it up within a couple of weeks. So it'll be up in two weeks. And it, you should look for, since you are a viewer, Look for Donna Lynn Polito. Mm -hmm. um, she calls her business uh, uh, Fit, Body Fitness. Body Fit Solutions. Body Fit Solutions, right? And she specializes in bodies over fifty, uh, maybe bodies over sixty. And she is, she is one of us. Mm -hmm. She's a verified senior. So, and what's good about what Donna Donna Lynn is going? First of all, she's a fascinating person. And you have to watch the interview that we did with her, which, would, again, will be up in about two weeks on Celebrating Act Two. Um, it's an interesting, she's an interesting person. You'll love meeting her. But what she's going to do for us uh, after that is a series of shorter videos about her two specialties. Uh, first specialty is exercise, and the mm -hmm. other one is nutrition. And I, I think what I'm fascinated by with Donna Lynn is the fact that she is an expert in both those, I don't know what to call them other than specialties. You know, a, a she's obviously been in the, or... in the aerobics business or the exercise business for 30 years, but along the way, she's earned a bunch of certificates on eating and nutrition. Well, she's so, also helped people with physical rehab, uh, I think. She's done a lot of that, yeah. 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 So she'll be great. I think she's a great addition to Celebrating Act Two. Um, and she'll be, she'll be doing that almost weekly. We'll put up one of her videos. They're short and sweet. You know, we didn't. What we didn't want to do uh, is a, another series of half-hour exercise workout videos. That, that, there's a million of them on YouTube, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Donna Lynn has a bunch of them too. She's very good at that. So we've asked Donna Lynn to do uh, something a little bit different, and that is shorter videos with uh, a, a short exercise tip for seniors, followed by a short nutrition tip, how to eat well, eat better, eat less, whatever the tip is, her nutrition tips. Use her expertise in both fields uh, to help us stay healthy. Well, uh, I actually couldn't come a minute too soon because uh, yesterday, because I, I like to get with the program, as they say, uh, I, I celebrated mathematics yesterday uh, for 314, which was pi r round day. And <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I forgot. Yeah. Right. Uh, great apple pie. Uh, yeah. I, I, not, I would not normally eat that, and it had nothing to do with dietary, but it's a, it's a love of mathematics uh, and sure circles and things like that that, um, yes. that I had to. And then tomorrow, <laughs> it's tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, is it not? Uh, Corn, you, no, Wednesday is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, oh, oh I'm thinking today's Tuesday. Corn, yeah, we're, we're recording on Monday. Right. So People won't see this till Thursday. So it'll be yesterday. So it'll be we, yesterday that was St. Patrick's Day. Well, you have had corned beef and cabbage, because we will. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, 
In fact, I've got a Guinness beer to go with it. Oh. A Guinness, oh. not Guinness beer, Guinness stout. One of my favorites. I love have, Guinness having stout. Having nothing to do, having nothing to do with anything that we've just spoken about other than beer is uh, <laughs> so a wonderful picture of a friend of uh, mine through Tai Chi who uh, uh, got, was able to get an appointment to get a shot, I think in Riverside County, uh, for her first COVID shot. And she posed for a picture of having gotten her first coronavirus shot, holding a Corona beer in Corona. Oh. <laughs> in, in Corona, California. Right. So she, she had it covered. Uh, just a, 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 a sidelight. She's a, a wonderful yeah. uh, friend at uh, uh, Tai Chi. But yeah. so by the time people will have seen this, uh, I will have celebrated mathematics. We both will have celebrated um, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day with a little corned beef and cabbage. Right. And then, then I, well, I'm going to watch probably on Thursday, uh, Steve Campbell's uh, uh, How to uh, Mess Up Your Mind and okay. tell, How to Do What You Wanted to Do. And, then, and, and while, you're, while you're doing that, I'll be watching with Manny, I'll be watching The Quiet Man on uh -huh. television. It's got to be, it's on television somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's the classic St. Patrick's Day movie. That should be good for a nap, especially yeah. if you, right after Guinness. <laughs> if I have enough Guinness, yeah. By the way, uh, that reminds me of uh, 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 365 days a year in lower Manhattan when I went to Pace University. Next door was a, a great Irish uh, bar that had a, uh, a luncheon Mix uh, Yeah, very likely was. And yeah. we'd go in there and you just have all the great stuff, beef stew and, and yeah. corned beef and cabbage, any day you want. That was, that was our lunchroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one right around the corner from where I was on 42nd and 3rd. Uh -huh. uh, and, and I think it's a chain. No, it's not Mix Orleans. Mix oh, right. Tavern is the historic tavern down there. But it's a, a chain of restaurants that uh, had an Irish name and, and a lunch, uh, a lunch wagon kind of uh, yeah, like a buffet, like a, a buffet, right? Yeah, yeah. And you just walked down, and it was great. I mean, you could never get a bad meal there ever. Yeah, right. not a good meal. You could never get a good meal there. <laughs> no, it's, you never it was got just a right. Bad meal. It was Goldilocks and the Three Irishmen. Well, look, it was more based on great. <laughs> For students and uh, young men without a lot of money, it was a great deal. It yeah. was. And you know what? I, All right. I would still enjoy it. Let's go. Let's get on a plane now that they're opening up a little bit. And let's go to McSorley's. You know, I we, we talk to John Mariani uh, every once in a while. <laughs> and uh, uh, he talks about the restaurants in New York. And, I, of course, I haven't been in New York for 40 years. And I, I think back to all the restaurants that I went to that are no longer there, yeah. you know, like like this pub that you're talking about. Um, but that's OK. I've got my restaurants to go to here in California. Right. And there's plenty of stuff, fattening stuff that we can uh, and over carbohydrate stuff that we can make ourselves in our own in the privacy of our own home. Absolutely. We can still get fat and happy. And as we go grow older. Yes. So anyway, that's going in the wrong direction. We need to lose weight. Mm -hmm. We need to exercise. And we need to encourage all our viewers to do the same thing. Yes, we do. Yeah. So that we so, all have you around for a long, long time. And we're yeah. looking forward to being silly and having you enjoy our silliness. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm, going to, go ahead, I'm going to sign off with my Irish accent. Okay, well since, then, then I'll since say yesterday was Saint it's Patrick's been great, Day. To, great seeing you. And yes, since yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, uh, why don't you take us out, John? Oh, Phantom Pajabers. Is that, is it, am I getting in the right mood here? Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, Phantom Pajabers, it's a fine day to see you all. I wish you all good luck and good health and good eating. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.